good to have you on the Word of Encouragement here on this Wednesday. Well, we hear all kinds of economic reports, don't we? And there's all kinds of speculation. Stock market goes way down and then it comes back up. The uncertainty that we're having right now in Europe and in Asia and many, many other things as we see a total uh, different perspective from our governmental leaders and uh, and very much a, in, in a coming encroachment upon our rights and even upon our economic system. And many people are worrying, and rightly so, uh, about their economic future. In fact, the inflation numbers that are really genuine are pretty astounding. And it's the first time for a long time that um, Americans have really felt it like this. I remember back uh, some decades back when we had the same thing happen, and it's very disconcerting. But the one thing that we need to encourage ourselves in is that this can help free all of us from the hold of materialism on us as believers. I think one of the great curses over the last few decades in American Christianity has been just the numbing effect, like the Laodicean church, where we're increased with goods and have need of nothing. And the Lord uh, as he dealt with the man, that the young man that was a good heart but wouldn't give up his riches, he says in verse 23 of Mark chapter 10, And Jesus looked round about and saith unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and saith unto them, Children, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God. That's kept many people from being saved. But then down in verse 27, with men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. And so friends, would you settle it in your heart? I've been endeavoring to do it in mine. If we get into a much harder state financially, it might just be what would free us from that which has held us down from really surrendering to the Lord. Wouldn't it be great to have a move of God across this country? Let's pray that whatever happens will be used of God and that we'll be free in our heart and not be thrown by what's happening. For God wants to do the impossible.